and inside the entertainment in Nigerian music scene don't see their fair share for legal battle on top of breach of contract for recent times. King Patrick entered in social media to air in vexation sake of a legal battle between him, Peruzzi, and Davido. According by him, the matter already they caught by the case they delay before now. Before now, a Plus TV Africa young with one entertainment lawyer, Fawemi Foza Oyinka Shola, will throw away more light for the matter. Um, so from the conversation or from the statements or claims that um, Patrick made, it's a breach of contract on the side of Peruzzi with Golden, Golden Boy Entertainment. So it's a civil matter. It's a breach of contract. Um, issue allegedly that is going on, and mm. the only way um, DMW would be roped in is if um, part of the negotiation or the prior existing um, discussion with before Perez, you know, allegedly left Golden Boy was that DMW was going to either buy him out of the contract or it was going to be a joint venture or it was going to be subject to royalty in some cases. So if, if, if that was a prior conversation that was had between Golden Boy, the NW and Peruzzi, then the NW can be um, brought into as a party to this um, dispute. But if not, the NW is excluded and it will be Golden Boy, Golden Boy and uh, Peruzzi party yeah. to the action. Yeah. So the consequences of the action will be all materials that have been released or promoted or all profits that have been made um, uh, by Peruzzi within the period of, I'm thinking this is between 2018, if I'm not mistaken, 2018 to 2020, all such profit belongs to Golden Boy in the instance of what mm. was signed. So if the contract said um, it was a 60-40 agreement in favor of Golden Boy, it means that everything created, including the new album it released, belongs to Golden Boy. Nigerians don't respect contracts, period. It's not a function of whether it's an artist or it's just a general um, culture in the industry where we tend not to honor agreements or honor obligations. However, peculiar to the industry, is there's, a, there's, a, there's a huge misunderstanding and lack of education in terms of um, responsibility and obligation of each party in uh, in an entertainment relationship. So have the time, in my experience, when there's a dispute between a label and an artist, have the time it boils down to ignorance and um, ignorance and and, uh, and not knowing what your obligation is. So an artist is expecting that it should be promoted like Drake when he's still in artist development phase. And if you're in the artist development phase for another two years, which means they're not ready for the market, they come out saying that the label has not done anything for them or the label is not doing anything. Meanwhile, there's a full, huge investment in artist development that was going on. On the flip side, the label feels like once you get a house and once you get a car for the artist, that you've done your part. Meanwhile, the reason why the contract was signed was for content production and promotion and marketing of the brand, you know, as it's mm -hmm. so it's, it's it boils down to both parties. Most of the time, both parties and both stakeholders don't understand, uh, properly understand the obligation. Even though it's on paper, most mm -hmm. of them don't understand what has been signed. Well, a good lawyer never gives you probability. In, in a, if you go and argue your case, and but if there's a valid contract, if there's an existing contract and the terms are properly spelled out and he has his evidence to prove that there was um for, for everything he claimed um in his tweet, he has a high he has a good chance of having a good hearing in court. So 